everyone. 大家好 Welcome to Mandarin One Dialogue Three. Today we are going to learn some greetings according to times and general adequate expression. Before we start the lesson, let me introduce myself again. My name is Tan Po Yi. I'm teaching Mandarin as a third language subject at University Technical Malaysia Melaka. At the end of the lesson, students will be able to use and respond to the greeting according to time and use and respond to the adequate expressions. Let's start the lesson. When you meet a person in the morning, you can use this phrase to greet him. 早安 or 早上好 which means good morning. And when you meet someone in the afternoon, you can say 午安 or 下午好 which means good afternoon. Please re repeat all these phrases. 早安早上好 which means good morning. 午安下午好 which means good afternoon. We greet people by using 晚上好 when we meet them in the evening or at night, and we say 晚安 when we want to leave after meeting them at night. Please repeat again. 晚上好 when we meet people in the evening. 晚安 when we want to take leave after meeting them at night. Finally. The words to say goodbye is 再见 Say again, 再见 It is actually similar with the meaning "see you again" in English. Let's see a conversation between a group of students and Miss Chang. The situation is at the beginning of the lesson. The student will say. Chang 老师，晚上好 ，which means good evening, Miss Chang. And Miss Chang reply, 大家晚上好 And when at the end of the lesson, Chang 老师 will say, 再见，晚安 ，which means bye bye, good night. And the student respond, Chang 老师，再见 ，which means goodbye, Miss Chang. Let's move to adequate expressions. When you in a Chinese environment, it is very important for you to know how to say sorry. It is to get you out of difficult situations. The common phrase to say sorry is 对不起 Say again, 对不起 And the person normally will reply as "没关系 which is "it is fine" or "no problem." So please remember, when you cause someone inconvenience, just say "对不起 and "没关系 is the standard reply of "对不起 Next, another very important phrase. Is know how to say thank you. You can say 谢谢 or 谢谢你 which means thanks or thank you. In English, we normally use "you are welcome" while responding to "thank you." In Mandarin, however, 不客气 is used, which literally means "don't be polite." So say again. 不客气 Yes, very good. Let's see a conversation between Mei Li and A Mei Na. When Mei Li came late, he said, "A Mei Na, 对不起，我来晚了 which means, "A Mei Na, I'm sorry, I'm late." And A Mei Na responds, "Mei Li, 没关系，请进来 That's mean. Meili, it's fine. Please come in. Meili said, "How?" means fine. 
While in the house, Ah Mei Na invite Mei Li to sit down and have a drink. She said, "Qing Zhuo, Qing He Shui," which means "Please sit down and have a drink." Mei Li will say, "Thank you," and Ah Mei Na respond, "Bu Ke Qi," which means "You are welcome." Please note that there is a very important words in the conversation, which is "Qing." Qing has many meanings in Mandarin. It means please to ask someone to do something, to invite, and is sometimes used with other Chinese words to form expressions. The phrase for please in Mandarin is "qing." When a friend come to your house, you might use the following expression to welcome him: "Qing jin lai," please come in. Qing zuo, please have a seat. Qing he cha, please have some tea. Let's come to the vocabulary for today. 晚上 means evening or night. 对不起 means sorry. 来 means come. 没关系 means it's fine. 请进来 please come in. 好 is fine. 请坐 means Please sit down. Qing he cha means please have some tea, and 不客气 we are welcome. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye now. 再见。